Hey, to watch new videos on my channel and get automatic notified, subscribe my channel by hitting the below red subscribe button and bell button right now. Wishing you Happy New Year 2018. Hey everyone, right now I am at Simla for a wonderful holiday at the end of November. Simla is the capital of Himachal Pradesh and most popular hill station in India, where it is engulfed by green pasture, dense forest, mountain ranges and a round the year changing climate with picturesque city view. And these conditions attracts legions of tourists every year. So the toy train journey towards Simla with some beautiful landscape which we left back are just amazing. This narrow gauge toy train first was established by British and now operated by Indian Railway named Kalka Simla Railway as it is connected to Simla from Kalka, also UNESCO World Heritage Site. Though it takes more than 5 hours which is usually huge than the road travel time by car but it is so popular due to its landscape view among the tourists so don't miss it if you are visiting to Simla. By the way, there are many tourist spots to visit but some are important to visit and some are also unique and must to visit in Simla. First state Simla Kalibari which was established on 1845 at the time of British rule. As name says that this temple is dedicated to goddess Kali who is also known as Samla. The name Simla has been derived from the name Samla. Also can stay here in their guest house. I also stayed here and it was just amazing experience to stay in Kalibari. To know more details uh, watch the dedicated video about Simla Kalibari from the i button or video link in the below description. i button is on the right hand side of YouTube player. So Simla tour is uh, mainly divided into two parts except the Kalibari and it is in two days. Uh, first day you can go to Naldehera and Kufri and second day you can go to the local spots. And rest of the days you can do shop, visit mail road, walk around, do more shopping or as per your taste. So for car you can contact Mr. Lamba at below number in a video description who was our driver and he is the best experienced honest driver too also can directly do package with him for your whole tour but don't go to any agent or they will charge you five to six six thousand extra more than the normal driver will charge for whole tour this is what i personally felt So on second day of our tour, we went to Naldera. Naldehera is mainly attracted for its golf course which was built mainly by the of Lord Curzon also which is located at an extremely scenic local just 22 km from Simla. Car stops at certain point at the road and next you have to go there by Afil Pony Ride which charges 500 per person for 15 minutes ride. The horse owner says that it is 6.5 km but it is not. You can also go by walking yourself and giving 500 per person is not worthy as per my opinion. Also you have to give uh, rupees 10 entry fee per person extra when you are going here 
with or without horse. Also at the time of pony ride you can enjoy the view of China border, why view can enjoy. The sound of horse owner you can enjoy, that the horse owner will say that, Sir, on your left side, can you see that peak? Okay, so on the back of it, there are China border. That's it. <laughs> How true is that? I don't know. And also tell you about some peaks and also some villages, which also I did not notice anything in there. But the scenic view is awesome and viewing the golf course is also worthy. And though the golf course is for members only, so ahead also at the end of right on the downhill where there are uh, horse owner says that is the highest altitude point of 7500 feet. Also the riding roads are so narrow so I felt the 15 minute pony ride was waste of money totally while you can go by walking at least for the golf course and scenic beauty only. So at the end of ride they will leave you near the car parking area. Next on the same day go to Kufri. So at Kufri again there are a horse riding point, driver will left you at a pickup point from there you have to go top by horse ride at rupees 500 per person but you can also go to the top by walking or can bargain with the horse owners. Don't be fooled, an ideal price per person would be 200 to 300 for such a short ride. But we went to top by walking and many of the people goes by walking while you can enjoy the view. That's the best opinion as per my choice. Reaching on the top, you have to issue rupees 10 per person entry ticket from the counter. Next there are some domestic yak where you can ride on the back and take some photo with the exchange of some charges. And then here uh, first you can do is that can view some peaks by telescope uh, from telescope viewpoint at the charge of rupees 250 per person. Better bring your lens camera and watch it. Simple it's lol. And next you can watch the apple garden and do some adventure sports here too at Fern Park. And all for this you have to go to some kilometers from here by adventure car at the rupees 500 per person. Hmm. Yeah, so Apple Garden has a good view if it is in season, else there is nothing much more to do. And that's not worth it. So at the time we went in November it was not the season of Apple, so we did not go there. Also don't shop here from any shop cause here they are so costly than this main Simla town and must carry the face mask to avoid dust while riding on horse or not. Also can do some adventure sports here at Hip Hip Brewery Point. Here, this is the Hip Hip Brewery Point you can see. Next you can go to Kufri Zoo and Chini Banglo too. But for the Bengali people, what can be better than the Kolkata Alipur Zoo which is the biggest zoo in India too.
on the back way to Simla, you can take some photograph at the photography point. After, at the end of that, come back to Simla for the day and take rest at hotel. On the next day or third day, we went or you can go to various local spots in Simla. Ideal time that we started is after 11 am with same driver. So first go to the British Viceroyal Lodge. This is also known as the Rastropoti Nivas or Advanced Study Museum. Which is located on the observatory hills of Simla and opposite of Barju. Car entry fee up to the top is Rs 50 or can go to museum by walking. Then collect your museum entry ticket at the price of Rs 40 per person with some time slot specified on the ticket and with guide tool. The Viceroyal Lodge was designed by British architect Henry Arwin and built in the Jacobethan style during the regime of Lord Dufferin. Its construction started in 1880 and was completed in 1888. Lord Dufferin occupied the lodge on 23rd July 1888. Inside there are beautiful decorations, some rare pictures, some rare furniture, big corridors and totally wooden stairs and also a big library. Inside there no photography is allowed but you can carry your camera with you while it is in switch off. Here you will remember that you have seen something awful at the Simla tour. You will remember it rest of your life. And meantime, before starting the show, you can roam around the garden of here. Then can watch the bar zoo here if you have time in your hand. Next is Sankat Machan Hanuman Temple. Not very long ago, around 1950s, Baba Neem Karodi Ji Maharaj came to this place and discovered the perfect spot for meditation and soulful introspection. After staying here for 10 days, he desired that a temple dedicated to Lord Hanuman should be built here. Baba's faithful devotees included the governor of Himachal Pradesh who along the Bhavan Sahai took up the task of building the temple and fulfilling their Guru's wishes. The temple is dedicated mainly to Lord Hanuman. Though one finds idol of Lord Rama, Shiva and Ganesha in separate complexes, there is specially made temple for Baba Neem Karodi Ji Maharaj also. The temple dedicated to Lord Ganesha has been built in the South Indian style of architecture and it is worth to visit. Also you can give some pujas here. Then go to Tara Devi temple. Is situated about 13 kilometers from Simla and sits at an elevation over 6,500 feet, dedicated to Godness Kali, named as Matara. Then on the way, stop at Bhishna Devi Gufa, where you have to go by stepping the huge upstairs. The Gufa means cave. Inside that cave, Vaisna Devi temple is situated. The cave is man-made by blasting the hill. Last on the local sightseeing spot, go to famous Chaku Hanuman temple. It is at Chaku hill which is the Simla's highest peak at a height of 8000 feet above sea level with a giant 108 feet idol of Lord Hanuman and which is visible from whole Simla town. Also you can watch the dedicated Chaku Hanuman temple video from the right hand side uh, i button or video link in the description.
So end of local spot to come back to hotel or come back to mail and either can rest in hotel if you have more days to stay in Simla or visit the mail and market. For the details about mail road watch my video from i button. Also can go to the Johannes Wax Museum which is near about the mail road where it has a wax statue of Mr. Narendra Modi, Mr. Barack Obama, Steve Jobs, Paul Walker, Tony Stark as Iron Man, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter, Johnny Depp as Pirates of Caribbean, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, James Bond, Yaya Hani Singh as the father of a nation, Mahatma Gandhi and many more which is just worth to visit and the ticket of the entry to this museum is rupees 250 by the way that's it and thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel cause i bring such video for you guys in my channel also many travel video will come soon so don't miss it subscribe down and hit the bell icon it's totally free which will also help to grow my channel and inspire me too so I hope to meet you in my next video, till then have a great time, take care, bye guys.